The Saglemi housing project was started under the Mahama administration but has stalled for the past three years due to a probe by government into the contract for the project. Addressing Parliament, Minister of Works and Housing Samuel Atachia said the Attorney General had established an initial case of embezzlement. The Attorney General assessed a strong position in law that all the contracts purportedly signed by Honorable Collins Dada MP and thereafter some wayward chief directors after the original contract has received parliamentary approval are void ab initio and have no legal consequence. At the moment, the Ghana institution of surveyors are engaged in a value for money audit. Mr. Speaker, their findings will indicate the extent of embezzlement of state resources via the vehicle of affordable housing delivery. All the traducers of the law will be arranged before a court of competent jurisdiction to answer criminal charges. Civil action shall be used to recover money's loss to the state. But a former deputy minister who served during the period of the project, Sam Sinahi, says nothing untoward happened with the project. He said this three years ago, that they were taking the, those corporates to court. Three years ago that he said it. Oh, you know, in the country, last year, he generated heated discussions in the country. We have been waiting for when that court matter will, will start. Now he's ready. Huh? Now he says he's ready. Everybody is also ready to respond because we didn't do anything on towers. The Minority Caucus on the Trade and Industry Committee of Parliament toured the Tama port to monitor the rollout of the Unipass system. Some freight forwarders expressed their frustration with the system. We have paid duties in a GCNet system. Now GCNet is off. It doesn't even reflect in Unipass. So how do you expect us to work? How do you expect us to work? And now, we should think about the client. The person who is importing in. He's bringing the jobs. He's bringing you revenue. So if we can't we can hold this, we can't resolve this. As my boss was saying, we're all trying to say that, oh, at least they should bring back GCNet. But now, GCNet has packed off. So the best thing we are supposed to do is, as soon as possible, we should find a solution to this. Since Monday, people have paid their duties on Friday, on Thursday. Now they cannot even work. People to pay the mortgage. You will have to pay them more. Them more 25,000 to the shipping line. And how much the person is going to sell the thing? If it will be you, how much the person is going to sell it? So we are paid to the government that we are all Ghanaian. We are not the different people in this country. So they should do something about this issue. Or else, we are going to be, we are, we are coming, we are coming there to the faster house. Because we, we, are, we, are, we are tired. We are tired. Why? Why? Ranking member on the committee, Imano Amako Fibua, made the observations known after the visit. We caution this government that tread cautiously in this transition. You are in a rush. You violated every uh, uh, tender process. Did a soul sourcing. We want to get out GCNet and West Blue. Company that still has a contract that is valid. A company that, quite frankly, had given government so much revenue. You brought a company that was not tested according to all the records we have. We caution that this is going to really pose two critical dangers. One, we will risk losing revenue as a country at a, a COVID period, a crisis period, where we need so much money. We also caution this government that it's going to bring too much hardship to traders.